it's one and a half Italians and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be planting seeds in our biodome. That's right. So we showed you the video where we unboxed the biodome. Uh, we also ordered a variety of seeds, mostly peppers and a couple of tomatoes from rareseeds.com and those came recently. So what we're going to do is just kind of walk you through that process. We've got a map here that matches back to the holes in the biodome. And we're not going to do all 60 cells at this point. We're going to start, I think, with 32 or 34. Uh, we're going to plant some basil, some cayenne peppers, some Tabasco peppers. We've got some jalapenos. We've got some banana peppers, some Italian pepperoncinis, and two different varieties of uh, tomatoes. heirloom tomatoes. Uh, we're also going to plant some cayenne, and I already mentioned basil. So we're going to go ahead and show you the process. We're just going to follow the instructions that they sent us. So the first step is going to be to soak these sponges for 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and fill up a bucket or a container with some water, put those in there, and we'll show you the progress. It's been 15 minutes, and we've had these sponges soaking. So we're going to go ahead and drain the water out and we'll take them over and put them in the seed block. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and plant the seeds. So what we did is we made a little map and when we lay the map here and the block here, we'll be able to track which seeds are where. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our 32 blocks or uh, 32 sponges in the block. So go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to watch me put all 32 in there and we'll be back with you when we get them in. Or... All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do these four. So now we're just going to go ahead and plant the seeds. Uh, if you look close at the plugs, uh, just following the instructions, they said if it's a small seed, you just put a couple of seeds on top. Uh, if it's a larger seed, like the tomatoes and a lot of the peppers, you would just put them in the pre-drilled hole. So I think what we're going to do is use the holes for everything but the basil seeds, and the basil seeds will just sprinkle a few seeds on top. The instructions say that you really only need one seed. Uh, we've got enough seeds here. We're going to go ahead and do two seeds for all the peppers and the tomatoes and just enough basil seeds. We've got a lot uh, to go ahead and do that. So go ahead and videotape doing some of those. So we'll start with the basil. These are really small, kind of look like poppy seeds. Just gonna take these and sprinkle them on top of the block and see what happens once we get this going. Um, if all of them happen to germinate and sprout, what we'll do is just pick the larger ones and go ahead and cut those down. So now we're going to do uh, one of the pepper seeds. We're going to go ahead and do some cayenne. Uh, these actually are older seeds, uh, but they did really well last year. We're just going to go ahead and try to sprout some more of them this year. We actually are overwintering a couple of these pepper plants. Um, so we'll see. But like I said, for the larger ones, we're just going to take two seeds. And those actually go right into the hole. And it's not too deep. Uh, maybe quarter of an inch or so, so it's kind of just the right size. It all came pre-drilled. Uh, one of the plugs did not have a hole in it. We just kind of poked the hole, so that's not... With a toothpick. With a toothpick. That's not really an issue. Um, I'm kind of lazy, so I actually got enough seeds to do three in each one. We'll go ahead and put those in. Uh, and again, if they all sprout, they all sprout. We'll just pick the largest and best-looking seedling, and the other ones will trim down. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue that process all the way across. Uh, we did the basil, cayenne pepper. We're gonna go ahead with the Tabasco and the banana peppers, jalapenos. 
Uh, you've kind of seen the process, so we'll just go ahead and bring you back up to speed once we're done. Action. All right, so we got all the seeds planted, and now we're just following the instructions. It said to fill the base with a quarter to a half inch of water. So we're gonna do that. Just gonna put that in the bottom, and then it should self-water once you get that. The styrofoam will float on top, and then the base, or the uh, sponges, will soak the water up from the bottom. Just like that. And if you show the camera over the top, you can actually see where this is floating and the water is actually coming up into the bottom of some of the empty cells. So the same thing's happening uh, with the ones with the sponges in it and the water will just kind of come up there from the bottom. So really the only uh, next step is to put the top on it and find a nice warm location. Yeah, the camera will show you. So our warm location is actually going to be up on top of the cabinets. They said a countertop or a windowsill. Uh, we're in Georgia. It keeps fluctuating here between hot and cold, but we do have the heat on. So uh, that top cabinet is protected. It's got a heating vent right on it, so it'll actually stay nice and warm. And hopefully all our seeds will germinate. And we'll go ahead and uh, get that up there and then fill you guys in in a week or two uh, to show you the progress. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell um, so that you know when new videos come out. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.